morning. Welcome back to my channel. So it's Whip It Up Wednesday again for the Crock-Pot Meal collaboration and I'm excited. I had bought this bag of Hearst's Ham Beans 15 Bean Soup and this is the beans. They're so colorful and I'm going to be doing a 15 bean and ham ham and uh, bacon bits um, soup in the crock pot. So let's get started. Okay, the beans, this kind of method, you don't have to like cook them or um, soak them overnight or anything because they're going to cook in the crock pot overnight. So this is the 15 beans. I've already washed them and rinsed them and picked out any kind of, you know, debris if there was any in there. So those go in there. And then these are bacon ends from the fresh uh, half a hog we bought this past spring from my sweet friend uh, Billy Ann from uh, Shaky K Farms here in Arkansas. And so I went ahead and saute sauteed those a little bit so they'd be kind of crispy. So we're going to throw those in there and nibble on a couple. Okay, then the spices I'm going to do. I'm not using the little packet that comes in the bag because I just want to do my own spices. I'm going to do just a little bit of pepper, probably half a teaspoon, and then salt. I'm going to do probably half a teaspoon. That's plenty. I'm trying to cut back on the salt. And then I'm going to use Herbe de Provence, which has your, um, you know, basil, rosemary, thyme, and lavender, and a bunch of different spices. I'm going to have a couple shakes of that in there. And I'm going to do some dehydrated garlic, fresh garlic. This is actually garlic from my friend Billy Ann. She grows her own garlic, and she uh, dehydrated them. And so I bought some from her of that. And then I'm going to use... Some of my Thrive products because I'm a Thrive consultant and I love their freeze-dried products. I use them just about every day. So this is the uh, chopped onion. I'm going to use a quarter cup of the chopped onion because Ed and I love onion. I'm going to use a quarter cup of the green chili peppers and they're a mild chili pepper. They're not hot. I'm going to use a quarter cup of those. I love this <clears throat> freeze dry stuff because you can measure it out. And then I have just a little bit of the freeze dried uh, red bell peppers. I'm just going to dump those in there and the powder and all because it'll make a good thickener. Get that out of the way. Okay. And then I use this. You can use stock, any kind of stock that you have or broth that you like. But I just canned my stocks. I don't want to open it yet. And so I'm using this Thrive Life Vegetarian Beef Bouillon, which is delicious. And so it's calling for eight cups, this recipe, and we'll see. I'll put half of it in here and then stir it up, and then I'm going to add my ham hocks to it. So let's get this stirred up. Let me scooch over so you can kind of see more. There we go. Ooh, look how pretty. Okay, let's mix that up. I'm going to dust this off with powder from those red bell peppers. Okay, now I've got three beautiful ham hocks with the bone in it, and I'm going to place those in there. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. And then I'm going to pour the rest of the broth, eight cups worth of the broth. And these these vegetables, once they get rehydrated, they'll they won't be floating on the top, but stir that up. Okay, I'm going to um, cook it on high for probably about an hour and then I'm gonna turn it on low and I'm gonna let it cook um, all night, which is you know about eight hours. So I will bring you back uh, when it's finished. Good morning, y'all. It's it's early morning, uh, Wednesday, and my um, 15 bean uh, 
soup is done. I was going to add tomatoes, but I decided not to. Um, it tastes perfect just with the way it is. All the those three ham hocks I put in, they're smoked, and the bacon bits that I put in there were smoked. It tastes so good. And the beans are all tender, and it's just, I'm going to make some cornbread uh, for it to go with it today. So I'm going to spoon some up in a bowl. I can do this one-handed without making a mess. There we go. I'm not going to fill the bowl up, but the meat is so tender. I'm going to get a spoon. Taste, taste, test, taste it for y'all. It's early, so it's kind of hard to talk this morning. <laughs> but the meat is nice and tender. Let's see if I can get a little piece and some beans. Okay, here it goes. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so good for dinner today and the cornbread. So I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you'll try this recipe and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Merry Christmas!